what is going on youtube we're back at it again with some more gameplay here in the united sim football association you already know how we do the games keep on rocking and we're going to keep it rolling as we always do make sure you show some love to the big homies show some love to the youtube channel the switch we was on there last night it was rocking as always and I can't wait to get this one rolling over here. It should be another great matchup here in the Eastern Conference. Going to be the Tampa Bay Typhoon taking on the New York Mafia. Two teams uh, that came into the league at the same time. So we, we've seen some of our OG teams. We've seen a couple of our newer teams hit the field. So now we're going to see another set of expansion teams hit it. Let's go ahead and get into it. Got everything pretty much ready to go on my side, but should be a fun ride as always. Tampa Bay and New York coming off of losses last week. New York currently on a three game losing streak and they're trying to change their ways here. Tampa Bay, they're looking to change their setup so they could get some more W's, get back in that playoff race, but still plenty of time as always. Make sure you like and subscribe. Get on the field, show some love to our, of all of our affiliates, and we'll talk about them at halftime, but not too much else to talk about. Let's get the game plays rolling. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm here to give you some of that premium action. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to you guys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Looks like New York will be starting us off with the football, and it's going to be a return. Going to take it past... The 26 yard line is going to be first and 10 coming up. Going to be a handoff to Rashad Watson. He's not going to get not that far, actually. He's going to get a couple yards tackled by Preston Dotson immediately. Going to make it second and eight. Well, let's go ahead and turn this down just a little bit. It's a little too loud. There you go. I could bump it a little bit. I could bump it a little bit. My bad. My bad. I've got to have my headphones up a little bit. Ha! But it's all good. Let's see what's happening. New York trying to get something going and give it to the hand uh, to the man. Rashad Watson is going to pick up some more yards. Third and three coming up. One player completely whipped on the tackle. Not 100% sure who that was, but definitely need to work on that pursuit. New York on the move. They're trying to get the first, keep the drive alive, get the first points. Aaron Knight. Going to be faking the handoff. He's surrounded by players. And he's going to throw a dot that almost went through. But Preston Dotson, Jordan Vinny, and the gang, they said no to that. They said rookie John Aldrezzi to hit the weight room a little bit. It's going to be fourth down. And Tampa Bay is going to get a quick stop. I thought he had that in traffic. That would have been ridiculous. But not to be there. I'm going to send this one away. Here comes Potty Potty with that leg. Jordan Benny will be the return man. Going to be pushing forward and get stuck as he hits the 26 yard line. And here comes the first movement here for Tampa. What can they do on offense? Let's see what the homies can do. Offense has been a little up and down all season long. Here comes Jordan Venny middle of the field and incomplete. Had two men open there, but could not quite complete the pass. It's going to be second down coming. Second and 10 here. And they got to go backwards the left tackle. Quarterback didn't even get to the line and he moved. That's not a good start here for the Tampa Bay Typhoon trying to get something going, trying to get their second win. Second and 15 coming up. So incomplete pass and moving backwards five yards. Let's see if they could change their ways. It's going to be a pass again. They're going to go short. There goes number 34. There's going to be Ja'Cory Dash getting some yards or getting a yard. Going to make it a third and long situation here. Mm -hmm. 
Gonna be passing it again quick to the left side and gonna be incomplete trying to get it to Enigma. Elijah Enigma, I should say. Fourth and 14 and the New York defense stands tall. Didn't look like he let Elijah get up the field on that play. They did try it deep, but they were right in the pocket of the Mafia. Trying to take some heads. We'll see the punt here by Trey Points are going to be returned. And he's going to get stuck at the end of that play. Number 25 with a big hit. So both special teams coming out strong. Let's talk about this New York offense coming on to the field really quick. If you don't mind me doing it, I'll do it. Offense here for New York is as follows. We got Aaron Nike at quarterback in his fourth start in the USFA. is yet to find his first win. And I believe all the rookie quarterbacks up to this point has at least one as he throws it short and it's going to be caught by Draco. Should be a first. And it's going to be a second and inches set up here. Speaking of tight ends, that's Kataki Draco's the tight end. The other tight end will be Juice Parrish, number 88. Wide receivers will be Cam Mello, John Aldrezzi, and Kareem Washington. Running back will be Rashad Watson, the rookie. And kicker slash punter, party body. As we see the fake of the handoff, here comes Aaron Knight looking right side. He almost picked off two times. As Jordan Vinny could not hang on to that one. He was waiting for an opportunity like that to get his first INT of the season, but not to be. It's going to be third and inches coming up. Quick look at Preston Dotson. He's never missed the playoffs in his career. And he's now looking to make that a reoccurring occurrence. A reoccurring setup here. As it looks at the homie. Protection's perfect. The pass is better. And there goes Kareem Washington with the catch. And the drive will push them into Tampa Bay territory. It's going to be first and 10 coming. And that was beautiful blocking there. You're seeing two linemen just go chop, chop hit the ground not getting that quarterback on that one going to a single back is going to be eight minutes left in the first quarter going to be a short drop back they're going to drop it to juice who's going to catch it turn it up and going to make the catch tackled by jordan Vinny there it's going to be second and three actually on that play i thought it was jordan Vinny. that wasn't uh, i believe that was let me see we'll see on the defense when we actually talk about him we should talk about him soon Second and three coming. And Jordan Vinny's at the top of the screen. Going to be looking for a man. Quick pitch. Going to be caught by Juice. And he's going to pick the first down up. Number 25. He was looking for that quick pitch. And they did give it to him. But just a little delayed. As you see him undercutting the man. Like he was trying to make the play. But rushed it a little bit. And they gave up the first. And New York's on the move here. Going to be a drop back here from Aaron Knight. Looking left side and going to be over the heads of everybody. Going to be second and 10 coming. Tampa Bay trying to get off of the field. Going to be looking for a man again. Protection's breaking down hard, and it's going to be a harder hit. That's going to be a sack. Looks like Thax Brightmore and Slug Stern getting into a sack fest right there. Great job. Brock Hoskins was there, too. Third and 21 coming out here. They're definitely not a field goal range. But a good pass could help them get in range. See if Potty Potty learns how to kick it straight. We'll see as the pass is going to be thrown short. There goes Watson pushing close to the 30. Make it down to the 33. A kick from there will be a 50 yard or so. We should see Potty Potty try his foot at some first points here for New York today and this week. He was hitting the gym. He has been working on his game. He says that's the only thing he has to work on is making sure those kicks are straight. Kick is going to be up from Potty Potty. And that actually looks pretty darn good to me. And they're going to cash out and New York's going to take the lead three to nothing. And that is a sigh of relief there from New York fans everywhere. 
But Tampa Bay is going to get this football back. We'll talk about their offense coming onto the field in a little bit. Quarterback will be James West. Halfbacks will be Ja'Cory Dash and Tom Edwards. Wide receivers Elijah Nigma, Bronson Spira, Connor Wellington, and Earl the Pearl Flint. Earl the Pearl Flint. Tight ends will be, actually there's one, Travis Vaughn. And then we got Trey Pointer at kicker slash punter. And that's the offense coming onto the field there for Tampa. We'll talk about the New York defense in a little bit. A lot of studs, a lot of young players, some veterans there. And so far in defense, New York's look pretty nice. We'll see if they can keep it going. Tampa Bay looking to get some good offensive movement. It's been a while since we've seen them do it in the first half. They've been turning it up when they're down. But this is some of the things, that the hallmarks of a young team that's trying to find their way. Going to make it first and 10 coming up here for the Typhoon. Going to be passing it again. Looking. They got a slant concept going on. He's going to take off to run. Is he going to find anybody to throw it to? No, he's not. He's just going to run it up and slide. And whenever the passing lanes aren't open, there's nothing wrong with that. He'll take the gain of about six. Sometimes that's what you need. Some forward movement to get the ball rolling. We'll see if these receivers can get the job done here. Second and four coming, going to be a drop back. Going to look right side and incomplete again. And James West is currently one for four. Only one yard so far in this ball game. They need to get the conversion here. Maybe that's what they need to do is to run the football a little bit more. See if they could take some pressure off of James West, but they're going to launch a left side and overthrows a touchdown. And James West is not in his bag right now. Looks like Tampa Bay is going to have to punt it away again. And they honestly couldn't have asked for a better play defensively to attack, but you got to execute. That's part of the game is figuring out a way to get out, get your football get the football into the end zone they had a man but they couldn't do anything there there's going to be a return there and here comes new york back onto the field we'll talk about the tampa bay defense coming on defensive linemen will be slug stern Dax brightmore and hendrix harlow linebackers will be Von carlton brock hoskins kingston ali and heavy d as we set up first and 10 coming up here for New York, almost a man off size. Not to be Aaron Nike looking. Protection's nice. The pass is better. And there it goes, Mr. Aldrezzi with the catch. Tackled by Ali and Preston. Going to make it first and 10. But to finish out this secondary here, it's going to be Jordan Vinny, Leon Kennedy, Loki Gunderson, and Madison Nicole. And then they also have Chris Davis. Preston Dotson and Shiloh Marino here on Tampa to close out that defense. Here comes a pass rush, but they're launching the right side. They're going to be almost picked off. And number 25, Loki Gunderson missed another chance for INT. Second and 10 coming. And these are the plays that Tampa Bay will need to capitalize on, especially when they go up against stiffer competition. That's not to say New York isn't, but there's talent all over the league. It's first, it's going to be second and 10 now. And it's going to be another handoff. And there goes a small hold there. Number 94, Hendrix Harlow with the tackle. And it's going to be third and six coming up here for uh, New York. Tampa trying to get off the field. Third and six coming up. Going to be passing. They know it's going to be a run, and it looks like Tampa's ready for it. They tried the quarterback uh, draw right there. Not to be. It's going to be fourth and seven coming, and it looks like Tampa's going to get back on the field. We'll see how far Potty Potty can see on this, send this punt. Sending this one away down the middle. It looks like it is going to bounce, but not the way Potty Potty wants it to. Looks like Tampa's going to start at the 20. 
is going to be first and 10 coming. Now, defensively for New York, let's talk about it. I could talk about it a little bit. Don't mind if I do. Uh, looks like, excuse me, uh, linemen will be Ivan Johnson, Buster Mack, rookie Rye Hoglaw, and Phenom Chisholm in his third year. Is going to be first and 10. They're going to send number 12 in motion. They're going to give it to him. There goes a man moving free, getting past the 25. And that's a real good completion there to Bronson Sparrow. Going to make it second and two. Maybe that's the way to get their offense rolling. But that's the defensive line for New York. Ivan Johnson, Buster Mack, Ryhaw Glow, and Phenom Chisholm. Linebackers will be C.A. Jr. Jr., a.k.a. C.A. Jr. two times. And we'll see a handoff. There goes the homie past the 35, and he's going to make it to the 36. The first touch there for Tom Edwards. It's a solid play, and it's first and 10 coming. Uh, linebackers will be uh, C.A. Jr. Jr., Javad Storm, Ernesto Romero the third, Paco Pac the second, and I believe that's all the linebackers there. Yes, it is. Cornerbacks will be Neil Mason and Chris Cook as we see another false start penalty here from the left tackle who's been missing up a little bit here so far for Tampa. But yes, uh, Chris Cook and Neil Mason are cornerbacks for New York. Safeties will be uh, Cornstock, D.D. Beasley, and Andy Newsom. As we set up first and 15 coming up here. It's going to be a fake of the handoff and going to take off to run, throws off the back foot and almost throws it straight to a player in black. And it's going to be second and 15. I didn't mention this earlier, but New York is in their alternates for this ball game. The black unis, they said it's going to black make this day a blackout. Second and 15 coming. And it's going to be. A pass here, middle of the field is caught, turning up, pushing forward, gets past the 40, and now the third down is going to be a lot more manageable. Third and four coming up. Now, can Tampa keep the drive alive as the first quarter starting to wind down a little bit? Only 10 plays so far in this game. Eight of them have been passes, expecting another one. He's going to be a quick pitch and going to be hit as he tried to haul it in. And number 84, Travis Vaughn, could not hang on. That is going to be a fourth and four situation. And this New York defense is playing tough here. We'll see what they could do back on offense. Looking for the bounce. Going to find the bounce. Rolls to the one-yard line, and Trey Pointer does it again. And now New York's going to start inside the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the one. Great punt there for sure. Should have one more play before the end of the first quarter. Will the last play result in a safety? As it does look like Tampa is stacking the line a little bit with four D linemen. They're going to pass out of it. Quick pitch middle of the field. And it's going to be caught. And they left the middle open. And that's going to be the end of quarter number one. And I know a lot of people didn't expect Aaron Knight to have more yards than the veteran uh, James West. But here we are. And now here comes New York trying to get the pass off. And it's going to be caught. There goes Cam Mello past the 25. And this started at the one. Two plays later, they're at the 26. The Mafia's looking nice. It's going to be first and 10. Nice tackle there by Chris Davis to make sure he doesn't get any more. But so far, Mafia, they have the momentum here. He's going to be passing it again. Middle of the field and caught. There goes Cam Mello with another catch, pushing forward past the 40. Down to the 44-yard line and... Aaron Nike is looking nice today in this ball game. And Melo, the benefactor, it's first and 10 again. They're going to send Juice Parish in motion. What would they do with it, though? They hand it off again. And it looks like the home is going to get sniped as he was trying to make it around the corner. A short gain. Actually, they're going to call it four. Second and six coming up. Let's 
Tampa's defense has been playing fairly well when it gets when you really boil it down to it because New York's has been moving, but they haven't really been scoring. They only got the three points to show for it up to this point. It's going to be another motion. Here comes Aldrezzi moving close to the line, and they hand it off again, and he's not going anywhere this time around. It's going to be a big body taking them down. It's going to be third and five coming up. And Tampa with another chance to get off the field. Third and five coming up. They're going to send Kareem Washington in motion. And they're going to look for a man middle of the field and going to be caught again for a first down play. And John Aldrezzi comes through in the clutch. It's first and 10 coming here for the homies in New York. Jordan Vinny from the other side making the tackle. As that speed is kind of hard to stop there. John Aldrezzi, one of the faster wide receivers in the USFA. And they're going to go ahead and hand it off to the right side. And it's going to be brought down after a gain of nine. There goes Leon Kennedy getting into the mix. A second and one coming up. Rashad Watson coming through with a pretty good game so far. And they're pretty much back in field goal range. A kick from here will be around 52 yards. He already knocked down a 50 yarder, so almost got off size, and that's to be gonna look takes off to run and hit. It's gonna be a sad, and that's gonna be a big play there, keeping him out of field goal range. And now it's third and 13. That was heavy, deed the linebacker getting into the mix. Look like I had someone there, but he chose not to go after him. Going to be passing it again. Going to look for a man. And he faked out big, uh, Preston Dotson there with the in and out. He went towards the sideline, back towards the middle of the field, and then took it back to the middle of the field after that. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. That was a crazy move there. Unfortunate for New York, they are going to be stopped short. And they are going to try to get this first down, keep the drive in their good favors. They got Rashad Watson there in the backfield. And will they give it to him? Yes, they will. And it's going to be a first down again. Here comes New York. Going to be first down coming. Using his blockers expertly. And the drive shall continue here. Less than six minutes left. And here comes Aaron Knight. Quick pitch. And going to be caught. There goes Kareem Washington over the head of Jordan Benny. And this offense for New York is clicking. It's first and ten as they move into the red zone. Look at where this ball was placed. Jordan Benny was right there. <laughs> Jordan Benny was right there. But once again, ball in the perfect place. And here comes first and 10 again. Looking quick pitch. You're going to be caught. Trying to get the first down. Chris Davis holds them away from that. And there's going to be second and one coming up. They're inside the 10 now, folks. And the Mafia is taking it to Tampa Bay right now. The offense keeps rolling. Looking for a man. Look middle of the field. Going to be caught. But I don't think he got both feet in bounds. They said no. Going to make a third and one coming up. Will the Mafia try to challenge that? Yes, they are going to try to challenge that. And it said it is upheld. So it looks like New York will lose a timeout why not try it out and see if you could get it you know but it's going to be third and one though regardless New York still trying to get something going here drive so far so good offense looking nice Tampa Bay on their heels trying to avoid giving up a touchdown as I set up back into the single back formation 
It's gonna be another drop back. They love juice, but they're not getting to him. They're gonna get the sack. And Slug Stern's gonna do it by himself this time. He's gonna get one and a half sacks today, and it's fourth and five. The defense of Tampa stands tall. Too much time. In that pocket, great, great coverage there in the end zone. It's always tougher to score in the red zone as opposed to moving the ball down the field. Here comes Potty Potty trying to go two for two, and he shall go two for two. And that's big buckets there, six to nothing in favor of New York. And Tampa Bay's offense. Been sputtering all game long. They found a first down here and there, and then they can't. No, they don't know what to do with their hands. So we'll see if they can get something going here before the half. I believe Tampa started with the football, if I can remember. So it's going to be a pretty big drive to see if they can get something going. Sending this one away. And going to be a kneel down here. Going to make it first and 10 at the 25. Tampa looking for some sort of momentum here on offense. It's definitely a good time to start. First and 10 coming. Send a man in motion. Gonna fake and there goes the homie on the read option. Not to be New York. They did their homework there on that play. As you can see, they're gonna get nothing out of that one. Good job here so far here for New York. Playing some stellar defense, but now they gotta keep them out of the end zone, keep them away from points. And it's going to be first and 10 quick pitch. And there goes a catch. Pushing forward is Bronson. Actually, no, it's not Bronson Sparrow. That's Elijah Nigma there with the catch. And he'll take it to the 38 yard line. It's first of the game. First and 10 coming up here. Wow. DD Beasley cleans it up. But Tampa needs to get something going here. Going to be a deep drop back. Launching left side and going to be caught. There goes Travis Vaughn, who's going to get pushed out inside the 35. Actually, right at the 35. Tampa on the move here. And that was a quick play right there. Wow. He turned up. Stayed on that sideline. Looked like he stepped out a little earlier than that. But they said he got stepped out at the 35. Going to be a handoff. There goes Edwards, who's going to push forward for a few yards there. And they're going to take it to the two-minute warning after that play. Second and seven coming up. Going to be passing it again. Looking Millfield and caught spins off of a man is Bronson Spiro inside the 25 and the offense is starting to pick up here for James West in the game. Can they punch it in is the question. It's first and 10 Tampa. Starting to look a little better here on offense for sure. It's going to be a short drop back, quick pitch, and caught. There goes Earl Flint past the 10, down at the 9. And the offense is clicking here for Tampa. And they're 9 yards away from taking the lead with the touchdown and extra point. That's Earl Flint's first catch of the game, and he's looking for more. Chris Cook doing pretty good on defense for what I've seen. Shotgun said, here comes West, looks middle field, and caught. It gets inside the 5, down to the 4. They have a minute left, so and they have all their timeouts, so they don't have to rush anything. Had to get a little water, you know what I'm saying? Got to get a little water in your life. Looks like they have Travis Vaughn in the slot. Well, they pass it his way. Not 
quite looks left side and there goes this man right there I called them before I seen it and Travis Vaughn will get this game tied up nice pass nice drive there from West and that's something that we kind of expected earlier in the game uh, but better late than never they're going to tie the ball game up kick is going to be up kick is going to be good and Tampa Bay after a lot of adversity, they're going to take the lead here with 41 seconds. Going to be kicking this one away. Let's go ahead and get into it. And it's going to be a kneel down here. Going to make it first and 10 coming. Going to be first and 10 coming. Going to fake the handoff. Looking for a man. Middle of the field. And going to be deflected by Chris Davis. Gonna be passing it. Aaron Knight gonna throw it short to his halfback. Gonna try to get the first, but he's gonna get tackled down short. There's gonna be a timeout called there from New York, I believe. And it's gonna set up third down. So Tampa te technically could get the stop here, right? And then they might have, you know, a little time on the clock to do something after the punt return. Granted, they have one of the biggest legs on the other side for punter, so I don't know how far they'll be able to take it, but they're going to look and there's going to be a deflection. There goes low key with another swat and the offense here for New York is starting to slow down a little bit. We'll see if that pick can get picked up, but it's going to be fourth and three coming up. We'll see what Tampa could do. Going to be return here, taking the pass to 20 to around the 24 yard line. And Tampa has all three timeouts technically. Trey Pointer, a really good kicker. If they could get the ball to around the 30 on the other side, they could find a way to extend the lead before the half. I think they'll need a big play though. And they do have all the receivers needed. Going to be passing it, looking for a man. Going to go middle of the field and throws it to the feet of Bronson Sparrow. I guess they'd rather take the incompletion there as opposed to lose some clock, lose a timeout. They're second and ten again. Shotgun set. Going to look for a man. Gonna launch this left side. He's got a man open, but can he get it to him? He cannot. And that is the second time this game where James West missed his mark on a potential touchdown. And it looks like they're not even gonna try. They're gonna go ahead and kneel it down. And granted, I kind of get it, you know, you don't want to put the other team in a position.
they had their chance and they, I think they probably messed up on that probably would have maybe tried maybe to get the first down but that wasn't really going to do too much for you especially at this part of the field you don't want to mess up do anything too crazy as we see the punt coming from pointer that was almost blocked and it's going to get ran down tackled immediately and now New York will have themselves a chance First and ten coming. Going to be passing it. Sure. Big, big drop back. Going to launch it in the middle of the field. Going to be almost caught. That was ridiculous right there. If he caught that and turned up, that would have been crazy. But regardless of that, we have made it to halftime. And you already know what time it is. We got to talk about all the homies that look out for us and make sure that we do what we can do. To the best of our abilities shout out to the home is there and let me go ahead and close out one thing here thank you but shout out to the w here if you want a energy drink replacement there's no better choice than w use the code on your screen usfas9 to get 10 percent off of each and every order that you choose to have with them a great product as always and you already know how we do we keep the chains moving like your boys and now and like your boys and insert usfa team here you know what i'm saying if you want a better product in regards to that no jitters no crashes all the bad stuff make sure you get some w the official energy drink of the united sim football association also shout out to the home is there in paladem if you need any software help for your business that's the perfect place to go to sign a contract with them. They'll set it up from start to finish to make sure that your company is running tip top shape from the software perspective. Nothing wrong with that. And you'll be directly supporting the USFA by doing so. So show some love. Also, shout out to the GSB. They're one of our three affiliates. If you want to do what we do here in the basketball set, Make sure you head over to the GSB the Gold Standard Basketball. They're currently in Season 2. They got prospect games. They got all the regular season games. The playoffs is getting closer. It's going to be a fun, fun ride over there. Also, shout out to Goals. Great one hockey league sim. If you want to play some hockey in the sim league format, there's no better place to do it. They're running games almost daily. And they got a great product over there. So shout out to them. And then we also have our final affiliate here in the ECFL, the League College Football League. If you want to think of it in real life, they're the NCAA, we're the NFL. So whenever they finish their collegiate career over there, they will get drafted by one of our 12 teams here. And a great, great product there in season seven. So make sure you show some love to them. Let them know that your boy Stacks, a.k.a. Armani Taylor Davis, cornerback for the North Dakota State Bison referred you here so we'll go ahead and get back into the gameplay here got ourselves a competitive one for sure and it should be a fun ride as always second actually going to be the kickoff coming soon let me see if i can find the ticker thank you and we'll go ahead and get this thing rolling again as new york is going to be actually no new york's going to send it to tampa and actually i thought that tampa sent it away but i was probably tripping it's all good though tampa bay has the lead a chance to extend it on this drive is going to be James West launching middle field and caught. There goes Mr. Tom Edwards there with the catch. And he's going to pick up the first. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get into it. Who has the juice to get the job done? New York's played a valiant game defensively, only holding Tampa to seven points. But Tampa Bay is a firecracker. They could get it rolling. As he's going to see a fake of the handoff. Here comes James West again, taking off to run, cutting up a little bit. And he's going to hold on to it as he picks up some more yards. Going to be second and four. Second and four coming, looking for a man. Left side is going to be caught. Cuts up. Going to get the first down. This Ja'Cory Dash gets to midfield. 
And offense here for Tampa starting to tick. And here comes the home is in the typhoon. First and 10 here for Tampa Bay. Great job with the concentration to stay in bounds and push forward. Now Tampa's starting to move the rock. As they go with the fake of the handoff here, looking for a man to throw two takes off to run and just throws this one to the dirt. Honestly, could have been intentional grounding there, but I did see a receiver try to come back to the quarterback. Second and 10 coming. Second and 10 coming. Another drop back coming here for West. Looking for a man. Takes off to run using that speed. Going to run over a man to get to the 46. So he's keeping the ball moving forward with his legs. There's going to be third and six coming up. Tampa Bay with the chance to keep the drive alive. New York with the chance to keep him off the field. Looking for the first. Looking for a man. Takes off to run again. There goes West. Right hog wall throws. Makes him throw an errant pass. Could not get away from the rush. Give it to Ry Hoglaw with that one. It's going to be fourth and five coming up now. Sending this one away is Trey Pointer. And it's going to be bouncing into the end zone for a touchback. And here comes New York back onto the field. First and 10 coming up here. It's going to be a handoff and Watson has a little room and gets stuck right at the end by number 25, Loki Gunderson. And it's going to be second and seven coming up. The run game trying to get going has been a little slow, but still got plenty of time to get into the mix. And that's going to be a false start there for New York. So some of the bad uh, fortune there for Tampa going to the other side, apparently. They're going to make it second and 12 coming up. Second and 12 here in the single back set. Tampa looking for a play, going to be passing it again. Takes off the run and takes off for too long. It's going to be Brock Hoskins with the play. And now it's going to be third and 22 now. Tampa Bay's in business defensively. A great pass rush there all the way around the middle collapse. That pushed him to the outside, and Brock Hoskins was there to clean it up. But can Tampa get the stop here? And get the ball back for their offense. They're going to look for a man. Going to throw a middle of the field. It's going to be caught. And he's going to pick up the first down. I think he got it. No, they said he's short. They said the knee hit the ground. And that is a tough break there for New York. I doubt they'll go for the challenge. The game is too close to give up any timeouts. So they may just have to send it. And you see the ball where it is. Like It looks like it's past the line, but... The referee says you got to do a little just slightly harder, and I think he could have got that. So we'll see the return here from Jordan Vinny trying to turn up. He's going to get past the 25 down to the 28, and we'll see James West again onto the field. And we're going to ignore what just happened on that one. He just glided, glided over to do like, ah. <laughs> First and 10, though, go see what Tampa could do on offense again. Holding the ball. For a good amount of time so far this game, but they got to punch the ball into the end zone. Looking for a man. Looking to launch it again. Did he overthrow him again? That is number three. And Bronson Sparrow is going to be the player that could not connect the dots. And it seems like Tampa Bay is doing what they need to do to call the right plays. New York has given up that deep ball. But James West has to just take his time, let him get down the field more, and then sling it. 
Looks like he's just rushing it. Going to be passing it again, looking right side this time, and it's going to be caught. So they will get some of those yards. Going to make it third and three coming up. What is going to happen in this ball game? Tampa still has a chance to make up for it. They have Tom Edwards there in the backfield with them, I believe. Going to look for a man again. Takes off to run. Will be able to make it. Yes, he will. He's going to get a lot more than that. He's going to push forward, and he's going to take it to the 48-yard line. James West says the arm is kind of tripping, but hey, my legs are still working. You got to account for me at all times. It's going to be first and 10 here for Tampa. Sometimes that's what you need. Mix it up a little bit. Use the legs a little bit. It's, I think this is probably the most I've seen a quarterback rush all game long as they send Ja'Cory Dash in motion. They're going to go ahead and hand it off. There goes Edwards. He's breaking free. And sometimes the Wildcat can get you what you need. It's going to be a touchdown there for Tampa. And Tom Edwards, he's going to get the start. And he says he knows what to do with it. A great play there from the veteran. That's going to make it a seven-point ball game here. Tampa, they're going to try the extra point here. Should be all good to go, and it is. 14-6 to six is your score. And if you remember the score, if you remember the score from game number one, this is exactly how it ended <laughs> with one team scoring two touchdowns and the other, well, they scored two field goals, but... Well, actually, no, I take that back. New York did score two field goals. So, yeah, the scores and the amount of times they scored lines up near flawlessly with what happened in game number one between New Jersey and Anchorage. So pretty interesting setup here, but it is what it is. The game's got to roll and the games will keep rolling, as I always say. As always. And why didn't I click on the sound for that? That's my fault. I was kind of looking away at the gameplay. I'm clicked it off during the advertisement, but I got it back for you. It's rolling. Didn't really miss too much sound-wise, though, outside of, you know, actually hearing the crowd and all that stuff, but we're going to keep it moving here. Good thing I caught it midway through the third as opposed to at the end of the game, but it's going to be first and ten coming up here. As New York, they're down eight. And they gave up two straight touchdowns, so their offense needs to get something rolling here. And it's going to be a handoff, and there's no one home, but he is going to drag a man past the 30 to the 31-yard line. Rashad Watson having a pretty decent game, I'd say. He is over four yards a carry, so I'm sure he'll take that to the bank. He's looking for a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Second and four coming handoff here and he's going to find a big hold there looks like he's going to stand up and keep his legs moving but he's falling backwards i thought he was going to get back up and keep running but great job there nonetheless von carlton with the tackle and he's going to do a little bit of moves there look he stepped right on von carlton that's just disrespectful but he is going to make the play there keep the drive alive here for the mafia who's trying to get their first win First and 10 again, looking for a man. Looks left side. It's going to be caught, and he is going to pick up the first down. I should see it tick. Yes, it is. Kareem Washington with the catch. Four for 43 on the day. It's, four, it's first down coming. Took three defenders to bring him down. He was fighting. First and 10 coming up, single back formation. John Aldrezzi there in motion. There's going to be a pass coming up. Going to throw a middle of the field and going to be caught. There goes Juice Parrish getting past the 35. And Vic Dotson was right there, but I think he went for the INT as opposed to trying to swat it. It's going to be first and 10 coming. Motion handoff and there goes Mr. Watson getting another gain of about four maybe. Second and six coming up. Looks 
second of six coming up here. Third quarter winding down. New York in field goal range as of right now. Well, as we say, potty potty range. As we see a drop back, the pass rush trying to get home, but the pass is better. There goes Juice Parrish with another catch. As Aaron Knight cracks 200 passing yards in his ball game, it's going to be third and three coming up. I formation coming and they got to go backwards that is unfortunate there for the mafia they had really good field position to keep the drive alive and now they'll have to work a little harder here in the third down now they're going with the single back here Going to be passing it, looking for a man again, looking in zone, wide open. The mellow for the touchdown, and we should have ourselves a potential ball game if they could get two points off of this conversion. What a pass there from Aaron Nike, and that was a blown coverage if I ever seen one. As we set up 14 to 12 currently, Tampa Bay can still hold the lead if they could get the stop here. As they send number 17, Kareem Washington, they're going to pitch it. Can he make the edge? No, he will not. And it looks like Tampa will hold on to that lead for a little bit longer as Tampa Bay will come back onto the field. But what a pass there from Aaron Nike. His first passing touchdown of the game. He's looking for a couple more. He said he ain't quitting. But the third quarter is almost over. We're going to keep it moving here as always. You already know how we do. Make sure you show some love to the YouTube channel, the Twitch channel. We're going to be back here Thursday night. We'll be back on Twitch. Should be another fun game as always. Don't go anywhere. And we already know we're going to keep it moving. And the game tonight will be Toronto at Pittsburgh. So it should be a fun, fun ride there. We'll, we'll show you the graphic at the end of it. But this one is going to be underway here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Should it be returned? No, it will not. He says, I'm going to chill out a little bit. Make sure that my boys got it. It's going to be first and 10 coming up here. And it's crazy enough to see Tampa honestly should have somewhere between 28 to 35 points at the current moment with all the overthrows. They definitely kept New York in this ball game. They found a ways to take the top off the defense, but they need to execute. That has the, been the issue. As we see a handoff, there goes the big homie Edwards. Actually, that's Ja'Cory Dash for his first carry of four. But yeah, that's been kind of the story here for Tampa. They've had multiple opportunities to be in a better position. They could be two and two, maybe even three. And uh, actually, I take that back. They could have been uh, two and one. Or maybe even 3-0 and if they were able to play their cards right. But they're going to go ahead and fake the handoff here. Looking for a man launching it right side. Going to be caught. But did he bring it in? Yes, he did. That's going to be Travis Vaughn. Big catch over the top. And that's the accuracy I was looking for. Let's see if he brought the feet in. That is close. And New York is going to actually challenge that. And I think they might have won it. And they did. It's third and six. Unfortunate. There for Tampa. Just could not bring those feet and bounds. And now it's going to be third and six here. The field goal will give New York the lead. So it'll be in Tampa Bay's best interest to keep the drive alive. Keep working the clock as best they can. And then score it. And they're going to pass it here. Going to look for a man, middle of the field, and caught. Turn it up in the first down, it is completed. There goes Ja'Cory Dash, number 34, picking it up. Couldn't quite get the big play like they wanted to, but I'm sure he'll take it as the third quarter continues to wind down. Great job there. Not giving up just because you didn't get the big play. There's, there's bigger opportunities ahead of you, and there's bigger opportunities in this ball game as well. As we see a handoff right at the end, they're going to push forward as Tom Edwards, and that will take us to the end of the third quarter, folks. 34 is up. Let's get into it. 
USFA gameplay right here as we see second and five here for Tampa. They're trying to close the game out, get their second win. They're going to throw it short, and it's not going to go too far. Third and five coming up here. Can Tampa get the job done again on third down? Gonna be passing it again, looking for a man. Middle of the field, and deflected, and New York says not today, as James West threw that in some coverage. A lot of Aaron passes here from the veteran. He, he hasn't really been stepping up uh, in regards to this particular ball game. Missed a lot of opportunities. He's been throwing some iffy passes. And that gives New York a chance here to take the lead on this particular drive. We'll see how far the punt goes. It looks for the bounce, but the bounce is not that good. It rolls into the end zone, and New York's back on the field. And this is honestly one of New York's best chances to get the victory. If they could find a way to get another stop on defense when they get when Tampa gets the ball back, and before then they could find a way to score. Granted, the Tampa Bay defense outside of that last touchdown that they gave up playing pretty decent as they try right side and caught. And that is going to be outside the 35 there. John L. Dredzi using that speed is going to be first and 10 again. And I seen him right there. He looked off the safety that was sort of in that area, gave them the open lane. Aaron Knight playing very well today in this one. Looking for a man again. Looking right side. And going to be deflected by Von Carlton. Shout out to Von Carlton. Second and 10 coming up. And Tampa's looking for the stop here. Of course, they have the ball. They have the lead. So technically, they're still in the driver's seat. But one big play by New York can take that away. Looking for a man again. Looking for a man. Protection solid, but not that solid is going to be a sack. And Fax Brightmore with the bull rush says, let me get it. Number 12. That's sack number five on the game here for Tampa. I know you've seen that bull rush. As soon as he got to the O-lineman, he just pushed him back. He got his arms out. And that's going to set Tampa up with a chance to pin their ears back. Potentially get this football back really quick as we see Aaron Knight going to pass it again. They throw it short, but there's a lot of men there, and there's not going to be enough place for him to go as Tampa does get the stop. And Tampa Bay will take it. They still have the lead, so as long as they have that, they have a chance to get the victory. But a very good ball game here. Both these teams are fighting. And it's going to be sending this one away almost blocked. Going to take this one. It's going to be returned by Jordan Vinny. A juke move will get him past the 22 around Michael Jordan's number. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. And Tampa's back on to the field. Now, can they do something with this opportunity here? That's going to be the question that we'll have to deal with here. First and 10 coming. Single back formation, and they will try the ground cutting up, getting a little bit of yards. There is Tom Edwards. He already has a touchdown on the game, and he's going to pick up four. Second and six coming up here. Going to be a handoff again and pushing forward gets to the 30 is Tom Edwards going to make it third and three coming up. Big third down on both sides. Will Tampa be able to burn more clock or will New York give their offense another chance? Going to be passing it looking for a man. They're going to launch it right side and almost picked off and once again. James West with the horrible decision there, and it's going to be fourth and three, and New York's going to have another chance here on offense. I don't know how many times this Tampa Bay defense is going to have opportunities to move the ball. 
but so far has been working in favor of New York. They're keeping themselves in the game. We're less than eight minutes left in this one. We'll see how far he can send it past the 20. Good blocking up front. A spin move, and he's going to get to the 30, and that's really about it as New York hits the field again. Gonna be passing this again, looking right side is gonna be caught, turning up, gets the first down, close to it. Might be a little short, but a great, great pass there to Juice Parrish. It's gonna be six catches for 61 yards for the young tight end, who I believe is in his third game, if I can remember. Second and inches coming. And they will keep it on the ground. The easy first down there for New York as they close in on midfield. Not quite there yet, but the offense is on the move nonetheless. It's first and 10 a game. And a beautifully ran game plan here for New York. They haven't got all the points that they wanted to, but they've shown the ability to move the ball down the field. I think this is very encouraging to see. Regardless of the result here tonight, they should be very proud. As we see a pass here from Aaron Knight, looking for a man, takes off to run off the back foot. Going to find a man and fumbles the football. It's going to get picked up though by the home and he's going to get some yards out of it. And that was the play that they were looking for, but they could not quite pick it up. <laughs> Look at the replay here. It looked like Madison Nicole able to get her hand on the football, but she was just not near it so she could pick it up there for Tampa. That was the play they were looking for. But Tampa Bay is going to have to keep on working on defense. They send four. They don't quite get home, but they're getting there, and they will get there. That's going to be Slug Stern getting two and a half sacks today, and that's going to get them up that leaderboard there. A lot of players, they have two and a half or more, and just getting that alone, including what you did in previous weeks, is going to get you up there. A fun ride here for defensive linemen. That's why I say you should go and get it. Go and make one, man. If you have a chance, make a defensive lineman. They're very fun. As they throw in the middle of the field, and that ain't going to work. It's going to be fourth and ten. Now, New York, they can afford to punt the football here. Uh, Mr. Dotson, he was like, he ain't worried about that, man. Get out of my face. Now, New York can afford to punt here, right? If they could get another stop, they'll have one more chance. And I think at that point, it'll be four down territory. But the defense up to this point been playing very well. And it looks like the punt team is even better, but not that good. They probably would have took that going out of bounds as opposed to what it did there. It looked like it was about to. But Tampa Bay back on the field. They have a two-point lead. At this point, it's just making sure they don't do anything crazy here. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. And it looks like the offensive line issues are still troubling here for Tampa. Now it's first and 15. Going to be faking the handoff here. Here comes James West, middle of the field and caught. There goes Edwards to the 25, so he's going to get those yards back. And he's going to make a second and five. Second and medium here for Tampa. Trying to get the first. They're going to fake it and give it to West, who's going to get hit after a short gain. Seven carries for 34 yards for James West. They're going to make it third and four coming up. Big third down here for New York, who can potentially give themselves another chance here. Third and four coming, looking for a man again. Going to take off to run, throws a short, and there goes Edwards pushing forward and getting to the 40-yard line. And the drive 
continues and the clock keeps on ticking here for Tampa. Tampa Bay technically doesn't have to score if they can work the ball down the field, work the timeouts away from New York. We'll see if that is the strategy here. Tampa Bay might just want to say, hey, we just want the W. They give the handoff. There goes the man. There goes Edwards past the 45-yard line, and it looks like New York will call their timeouts. Handoff again, and it looks like he's going to get close, and New York is going to make another stop. Big third down. Third and two here. Tampa could burn all of New York's timeouts with this play if they could pick it up. And they're going to pass it. I don't blame them, and it's going to be caught. There goes the homie. I could not see the number of that one, but it was a great catch. I believe it was Elijah Enigma with that catch, and it is 83. And his second catch is a big one. Now New York has no more timeouts. They do have the two-minute warning, so all is not completely lost here. Especially if Tampa was to pass and it was incomplete. But Tampa, they might go aggressive here. I don't blame if they do. They are going to hand it off, pushing forward, and going to get some yards. There is Ja'Cory Dash. And that should make it second and two coming up. Now what they could do, they could just let it run to the uh, two-minute warning, that call play. And then at that point, all they really got to do is just make sure that you know, they get the first down and it's game over. And it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do here. It's going to be second and two coming. And it looks like they are going back to the Wildcat. It worked out pretty good last time. And it's going to be a rush. And he is going to pick up the first down. And that may be the end of this one here, folks. Actually, no, this third in inches. I thought he picked it up. But actually, not quite. <laughs> not quite done yet. Third and inches, will they give it back to him? Yes, they will. And it's going to be an easy bucket there from number 39, who's been a benefactor of a great game plan. His 10th carry is going to give Tampa Bay their second W of the season. And it's going to be first and 10. No more timeouts for New York to stop the ball with. And now they got to kneel it out. 50 plays, 30 of one of them were passes. Tampa had a lot of plays that they uh, wish they could have got back for sure, but really can't be mad at a win. A W is indeed a W. It should see one more kneel down. We could take this one to the bridge, check out the stats, and then get ready for the game tonight. So make sure you watch out for that. I'm looking to see if anyone's able to join in with me. I believe I do have one person that's potentially able to do it. But we'll get to that bridge when we get there. Final score, 14-12. to 12. The coach there for New York, not happy about this game. They had an opportunity but could not seal the deal like they wanted to. But nonetheless, a great game. Uh, both teams both had a chance to get the victory. New York had a chance for the comeback. But the offense could not get going when they needed to. And Tampa Bay, the veteran team. Well, actually, I take that back. They came in at the same time. So... Uh, but technically, Tampa does have more veteran talent than New York. So I guess you could say the veteran team in this particular case got the job done. Aaron Knight played valiantly, though. 
with a 69 yard uh, 69 completion percentage 263 yards and a touchdown uh, longest pass was 29 27 there for James West and he went 54 percent and honestly it should have been well over 60 if you want to count the incompletions uh, that he missed deep but it is what it is next week is a new week should see that improve as well uh, Rashad Watson almost five yards a carry a great game he did fumble but it is what it is it happens to the best Tom Edwards 10 for 84 one touchdown and it looks like James West 8 for 33 he did very well on the ground Jacory Dash 2 for 12 Aaron Nike had one carry but it went backwards for a yard longest carry obviously was that touchdown there for Edwards and it was a big play that helped him get the victory you know what I'm saying receiving wise here comes New York Juice Parrish led the way in catches with six, and he has 61 yards. Rashad Watson, four for 21. John Aldrezzi, four for 60. Cam Mello, four for 68. Uh, let's see, Kareem Washington there, four for 43. Kataki Draco's one for 10, and that is all the users there. Any drops looks like it's going to be Aldrezzi and a bot, and the longest catch was Cam Mello. On the other side, here comes Tampa. It looks like Jacory Dash and Tom Edwards, the halfbacks, led the way in catches. Four catches apiece. Edwards at four for 39. Jacory Dash, four for 17. Travis Vaughn, three for 38 and a touchdown. Probably should have been a little bit more, but he couldn't get his feet in bounds on a long pass. Elijah Enigma with two catches, 26 yards. Bronson Spiro, two for 18. Earl Flint, one for 13. And that's a bot there. Uh, looks like drop wise looks like Travis Vaughn was the only one with the drop, but he did have the longest catch of 27 yards um, Defensively Let's talk about it. Looks like Chris Davis leads the way with 11 Brock Hoskins with seven Jordan Vinny with seven Vaughn Carlton with six great job Loki Gunderson with six Lo Leon Kennedy with five Preston Dotson with five great job Hendricks Harlow with four Dax Brightmore with four, Slug Stern with four, Madison Nicole with two, Shallow Marino with two, Heavy D with one, Kingston Ali with one, and Tom Edwards the halfback getting a special teams tackle. Har uh, Hendricks Harlow and Dax Brightmore each get a sack or each get a tackle for loss. Uh, Slug Stern with two and a half sacks, Brock Hoskins with one and a half sack, Dax Brightmore one and a half sack, and Heavy D with one sack. Uh, so a lot of sacks there getting after Aaron Knight. Uh, no interceptions. Pass deflection wise, looks like Loki Gunderson with two, Preston, Shallow, and Leon, and Chris Davis, and Von Carlton each get a pass deflection. Good job. Madison Nicole forced the fumble, but it was recovered by the halfback. And that's all the defensive stats there. Defense for New York. Uh, looks like Javad Storm leads the way with. 10 tackles, great job. Ernesto Romero the third with seven. Didi Beasley with six. Ivan Johnson with four. Uh, Cornstalk with three. Ry Hoglaw with three. Buster Mack with three. Andy Newsom with three. Chris Cook with three. Phenom Chisholm with two. C.A. Jr. Jr. with two. Paco Pac the second with two. And Neil Mason with one. Oh, actually, Paco Pac the second with one, sorry. And tackle for loss. Looks like there's none on the day there for New York. No sacks either, no interceptions, uh, pass deflections, though we got two by Javad Storm, Cornstalk, Andy Newsom, and Neil Mason each get one apiece. Uh, no fumbles or anything like that. And that's all the defensive stats there. Kicking-wise, looks like the longest kick of the day was from Potty Potty, and he did knock through both of his field goals, so definitely encouraging to see it there. Trey Pointer was perfect on extra points, and it looks like... Kickoff wise was seven of them and it looks like six of them were touchbacks. So that's pretty impressive by both of these kickers. Great job. Uh, I think that's one of the first times I've seen that potty potty with another 60 yard bomb this season. I believe that's the second. Great job. Trey pointer right behind them with the 58 yarder and they both average over 50, uh, 53 and some change between these two punters. So great deal from both of them. Kick return wise, John Eldrezzi one for 28, the only kick return. And it looks like both uh, Watson and Vinny, they were battling on punt returns. They both averaged somewhere around like nine, eight or nine yards. And that is going to be the end of this game right here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Still got a game tonight, so make sure you watch out for it. It's going to be Toronto and Pittsburgh doing what they do. It's going to be 
the East versus the East again. Both of these teams, they're trying to keep some momentum here. Pittsburgh, they lost their first game. Toronto, they lost two this season. Who's going to move up in the rankings? You already know how we got to settle it. Shout out to your boys. Make sure you show some love to everybody. And let's go ahead and get into it. I'll see you tonight. Ah.